Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to continue where we left off with our email newsletter template. And, uh, you know, in fact, in the last lesson I said that I am going to, uh, we're going to get into the newsletter queue. Well, we are, but not right away. First, we want to dive back into this template. So the screen I'm in is in newsletter templates, just where we left off, and you see our template here that we had before. And uh, as you remember, our, this is our template name. This doesn't really get seen by anybody. The uh, template subject, hello from Level Up Tuts. This is what your users is gonna see in their inbox, as well as the sender name and sender email. Let's preview this again to remember what it looked like. Here it is, just like we left it. So, uh, you know, there's some things here. What are some things that we're always going to want the newsletter template to have? So this is sort of your strategy for your template, things that are gonna change every time. Like we're gonna have this welcome text and all these paragraphs. We're gonna have these change every time, uh, as well as these images. But the things we're not going to have change is this Facebook link, this Twitter link, this Google Plus link, this email phone number. We're not gonna have that stuff change, as well as any of these links, or we're not gonna have this logo change. So anything that's not going to change from every time you send out your template, you're going to want to uh, create in your template itself. So uh, you're going to want to change here so that way when you you know create an actual newsletter, you don't have to add these things in every time and replace them. You just have them, okay? So I want to replace this image with our logo. So let's go to the show hide editor. Let's scroll down here and we can find this image right here. And I'm just gonna delete this, but I'm gonna leave my cursor here. I'm gonna insert an image, and that image is going to be uh, this logo. I'm gonna insert the file. And you can see it has this magento and specific tag. And now let's go show hide editor. Okay, now let's preview the template. And for some reason it still thinks it has this other logo there. I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, let's check back the show editor. Maybe it's because we haven't saved it. Um, so let's go ahead and save this template. No, I want to uh, I'm cancel. Sorry, I want to save template, not save as. Save as is creating a, another template. And now let's just come back in here, and one more time, I'm going to click preview again. I don't know if something's getting messed up or what. Perfect. Okay, so now our logo's in here. However, there's some funkiness going up here with the Zerb emails. Sometimes Magento, what it's trying to do is it uh, is adding this like title tag, but the Magento editor doesn't really understand any of that stuff, so it converted it to a P tag. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and just delete everything before the initial table tag, and that way we won't have those problems anymore. Preview it once, uh, let's close this one out, preview this once more. Well, you get the idea, because it's clearly not showing you the updated ones. So that image is going to be there. And let's scroll down here. We also want these links to be changed. So you'll click the link button. And right now it's just set to a pound sign. Uh, we could find the Level Up Tuts Facebook. Level Up Tuts. And, okay, here's our Facebook. Yep, 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 okay. Uh, I'm going to paste this URL in here, update this, and you can go through and do that for all of these. Likewise, I could put my phone number and my email in here, and these are things I would want to save. So let's click Save Template, and we're ready to get our newsletter queue started. So uh, you'll notice there's action right here. You can see Preview, and it's going to open up a preview like before, or you can click Queue Newsletter. So let's click Queue Newsletter, and what this is going to do is queue a newsletter from this template. What that means is it's going to take this template and it's going to have what's called a queue, which means that you set uh, when this template or when this email is going to get sent out. You'll notice this queue date start is when uh, it's going to get sent out here. So if we have it sent out tomorrow, uh, you can even set exactly what time. And here we have our editor. Now, if you're more comfortable editing the HTML like I am, I would say go and do that because this way, if you're editing the HTML here, you're going to know um, exactly what you're deleting um, and, and keeping, you know, whereas if you're editing this WYSIWYG, who knows, you delete something too much and, and sure enough, maybe like a, a header tag is gone or something. So 
uh, I would go in here from your HTML and I would edit this. And if you're not familiar with HTML, it's not too t hard to like tell what's going on here. You can do a search and find for whatever text you're looking to replace and, and replace it that way. Okay, hello from level of Tud. So you can see I'm editing in here. And keep in mind, this is the real content that's going to go out the site. So this is where you're gonna to wanna to replace all your images with the ones that you actually want to see get emailed. So after you go through and read type in all your text, change it to whatever you want to be. You can even delete stuff. Like if we delete this image right here, so now it's gone. It's gone completely. Uh, but actually, okay, let's, let's just do this. So let's say this is our email template. It's perfect, the exact way we want it to look uh, sent out, right? We don't care about that big image right now, but we might want to use it in the future, so we're going to leave it in our template. This screen right here does not affect your template at all. This is just affecting the newsletter that's going to get sent out. So let's click Save Newsletter. And the queue start date is January 4th. It's going to tell you right here, queue start January 4th. And it's going to give you a finish date. And this finish date is once it's actually sent out. That's what that is going to be. So it's going to update it after January 4th to tell you uh, if it was processed for how many recipients and everything like that. And the status so far is not sent. Uh, because it hasn't been sent yet, uh, because it's not January 4th. So let's actually click preview here. Um, oh great, I got a pop-up block. Uh, okay. Okay, preview. Uh, it's mad now or something. Um, so let's go back. Okay, preview. Hello from Level Up Touch. So here's our email. Perfect. And see, you know, when I actually changed that link, I changed it through the WYSIWYG and, and exactly what I said about it possibly changing code, uh, it did. So now this Facebook link looks terrible and we we're better off just going into the HTML to edit that in the first place. Uh, but for whatever, it doesn't really matter right now, this email template is going to go out. And if you wanted to change it before it's sent out, you can come in here and change it. Let's say I really messed up that Facebook button. Um, I want to go fix this. So this had this social button class on the anchor. And what I'm guessing is that this class just got removed when I changed the link. So social button, and I'm going to guess this is FB, although, you know, it could very possibly not be. Um, of course, we won't see it in this interface. Let's save the newsletter. But either way, this is all happening before it's sent out. So it doesn't matter, we preview this, Facebook's back. Okay, so now this is gonna get sent out whenever it's not, and if you wanted to delay it, you wanna change the time, you can always do that before the queue start date. And just like we said, if you go back to your newsletter templates, here's our newsletter template, um, and it's gonna be here with this giant old image back again, uh, because we only deleted it from the queue itself. Okay, so this is how you manage your newsletter with Magento. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. You can have different templates, different queues. You can you know, just uh, change as much as you want, but you always keep it simple and do what we just did here. Have a template, uh, change it up for the queue, and send it out that way. As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts, and we're also on Facebook, slash Level Up Tuts, I think it is. Um, either way, you just saw the uh, URL in this video. So check us out. Uh, let us know what you think. All right, thanks. Bye.